Hello guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about 5 command prompt functions which will help you while you are using your computer. So first let us open our, our command prompt. It can be done by pressing windows plus R which opens the run function and here you could type cmd and enter. This opens our command prompt. The first function we are going to see is the start command. This can be used to open any any application in your computer. Start notepad opens your notepad. Start chrome opens your chrome web browser. The second command that we are gonna see is ipconfig. ipconfig is used to know the whole information about your network adapters. It can be used as ipconfig slash all. This gives you a large amount of information about your network adapters like the IP routing enabled as well as your physical address which is very vital. The third command prompt function we are going to go through is the ping command. The ping command is used in this way. Ping and the domain name and in this command in this command, the command prompt sends a packet asking for replies from the domain and we can see the time of reply that has been taken from the domain as well as the IP address of the domain. Usually the IP address of the Google domain changes as it has many servers. So this is just an example for this time. The fourth command prompt function we are going to use is the tracer command. Tracer command can be used in place of ping for a more detailed information. It is used in this way. Tracert and the domain name. It gives a detailed information compared to the ping command. It also shows the root of your connection and the hops between before it gets connected to the final connection that is the browser. As it is a detailed connection system so it does take some time. And yeah, it's done. The trace complete means it is done. The fifth, the fifth and the final command that we are going to use today is a cipher command. It is used for encrypting and decrypting files inside our computer. It can be used in this way. Cipher slash e in the path of a folder. And for the path, I have created two example folders. So let's open one of those and just copy the path and paste it and we should press enter and as shown here the folder has been encrypted so now all the files that will be placed in the folder will automatically get encrypted 